Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Robin Lowe from Pathways Strategic Teaching Center. Um, today, I will be discussing discrete trial training um, with my friend Carla. So today's video is going to be about discrete trial teaching procedures for parents. So with discrete trial training, just as an overview, it's an explicit teaching of skills and discrete and very basic behaviors. It allows many practice opportunities of a specific skill. It follows the ABC model, so that antecedent behavior and consequence model. Um, discrete trial training, or DTT, allows for increased opportunities for repeated instruction, modeling, feedback, and reinforcement. The goal of DTT is to generalize the skill to the natural environment, across people, and, without, um, and within different settings other than where the skill is explicitly taught. So with discrete trial, why is it helpful? Um, it teaches in very short, structured learning opportunities. Um, it breaks really large skills down into really small steps. Also, you can adjust the teaching materials to enhance learning. So your materials can be literally anything that you find in your natural environment, whether they're um, actual pens, pencils, flashcards, um, or functional objects like toothbrushes, you can utilize whatever um, is available to you in your environment. Um, another hallmark feature of discrete trial is it utilizes prompting to gear towards correct responses. Also, by providing feedback and correcting errors and also praising um, appropriate responses. And also, Discrete trial increases attentive behavior. So what does discrete trial teach? Um, discrete trial really can teach anything, but um, some skills that people might be working on with discrete trial could be speech and language, daily living skills, like dressing, self-care, um, feeding, um, in other socially significant skills. So, you know, following instructions, um, literacy skills, um, so many different things. Um, so some typical examples um, of where you can use discrete trial include, you know, just responses to a series of teacher presented flashcards or just answering a question. It's really endless um, what you can utilize with discrete trial. We will now talk about the steps of each discrete trial. You must first make sure that the area is clear of all materials except for those you will need to complete the lesson. You must also make sure that you have the individual's undivided attention. Each discrete trial begins with an antecedent, which is defined as an event, action, or circumstance that immediately occurs before a response. The antecedent would be the discriminative stimulus, also known as the SD. An SD is a short, clear instruction or question given to the individual. A prompt is then used either at the same time or immediately after the SD. Next, the instructor must wait at least five to 10 seconds before for the individual to respond. The instructor would then provide a consequence for the response. If the individual produces the correct response, provide reinforcements such as verbal praise or high five. If the individual produces an incorrect response, implement the correction procedure identified in the lesson plan. The instructor must also allow pauses for one to five seconds between each trial. Here, we have a visual for those to better understand the steps of each discrete trial. Again, the instructor will begin with the SD or the instruction along with a prompt if it is needed. 
Provide a prompt which may be a visual, verbal, gesture, model, or physical prompt. Wait for a response and provide a consequence or feedback for correct and incorrect responses. Here we show you the steps of each discrete trial performed by Pathway staff in video format. Hello! In this video, we're going to show you how to run the Word ID with Picture Cues lesson. The materials that you will need for this lesson include the Word cards with Picture Cues, a three array board, which is just a board with three pieces of Velcro that you can stick the words on, or if it's easier for you and your child, you can just lay the words on the tabletop. This is an important skill because it's the start of having your child be able to identify common words in their environment. The pictures are there to help support the learning. The goal of this is to build foundations for reading, and this skill can be transferred to any future reading. First, we're going to show you what a correct response looks like. The SD, or the demand in this example, is find toothbrush. Find toothbrush. Nice job, that is finding toothbrush. When the student correctly identified toothbrush, the teacher or parent provided praise by saying good job. If your student uses tokens, at this time you would provide a token to show them that they got it right. Now we're going to show you what an incorrect trial would look like. If your student is going to reach for the wrong word, you want to block them and guide them to the correct one. Find toothbrush. That's finding toothbrush. The teacher gently guided the child's hand to the correct word. You would continue to do this until your student has earned all of their tokens, or if they don't use tokens, you would just do a few in a row and then provide a break. Thanks for watching! There are also important components to a discrete trial. Present the materials as presented in the lesson plan. The lesson plan will be given by the individual's main teacher or substitute teacher. What is the array of object or picture presentation? What is the prompt hierarchy? What is the prompting procedure? And also, is there a delay before you provide the prompt? If the student makes an error, how do you correct it? And also, how many trials would you need to complete the lesson? So that sums up discrete trial as a whole. However, um, if you have any questions regarding prompting or correctional procedures, please make sure to watch the respective video um, on our Pathways YouTube channel um, in regards to prompting. Um, we hope this information is really helpful. And by now, um, I hope the rest of you have a fantastic um, rest of your day.